what's up guys and welcome to part 10 of tutorial series on how to deploy flask application on an ec2 instance in this tutorial i'm going to show you that how to set up open ssl with nginx web server and load the application with https right so when i say application it's an flask application right so right now i have the flask application running uh, on this host right and right now it's loading uh, using http protocol right but now i want to load this application with https on port number 443 right so that's what uh, we are going to achieve in this tutorial right so here we are going to use open ssl and here we are not using any third party or paid ssl certificates right so Open SSL comes uh, inbuilt with Ubuntu, but still you can uh, check uh, by executing this command sudo apt get install open SSL. It's basically an open source, right? So, and it's free, of course. So, here we are going to execute a command, right? So, first of all, I will uh, type in the whole command and then probably I will try to explain. Uh, each of the uh, piece uh, within that command right so we'll say sudo open ssl req hyphen x509 hyphen node s hyphen days 365 hyphen new key rsa oops it should be new key rsa 20 for it iphone key out followed by a path that is etc this is um, private nginx self sign dot key iphone out etc slash ssl Starts slash nginx start right so uh, this is basically the whole command that uh, we are going to execute right so I will try to uh, explain you in each of the bits of this command right so it starts with sudo open ssl open ssl it's, it is itself a command right that probably uh, help us or enable us in creating and managing uh, certificates and keys right then uh, it is followed by req so this command has a sub command that is hyphen x509 right which which specifies that uh, we want to use uh, x.509 uh, certificate signing request right uh, that is nothing but the csr management right so here uh, we want to uh, create the self-signed certificate instead of uh, generating a certificate signing request right so so that's the reason we, uh, we, uh, we are passing this command right so coming to the another command that is hyphen x509 so as i said it's it's basically to make self-signed certificate instead of uh, generating a certificate signing request right and then it is followed by hyphen nodes but it's not nodes it's node s right so so for example if you don't want to uh, protect uh, this key with a paraphrase right then you need to uh, mention this this piece here right so else uh, if, if you are not mentioning this uh, then it will ask for the uh, four character paraphrase uh, right so that is for it then we have hyphen days so it's it's basically uh, validity right expiry of the certificate so it's one year probably we are giving right and then we have uh, hyphen new key rsa colon 2048 right so so here probably we are creating the uh, new certificate and the new key at the same time right then uh, rsa colon 2048 portion uh, tells us that uh, to make a uh, rsa key using uh, rsa algorithm uh, that is going to be uh, 2048 uh, bits long right and then probably hyphen key out uh, uh, sp mention or specify that uh, where to write the self-signed key here so we are mentioning the path 
and then we have hyphen out that pro probably the uh, path of the certificate that where we want to store but you can uh, store the certificate um, I think in the uh, custom directory but I am not sure so let's go ahead and uh, run this command right. and here uh, it will ask for uh, some information right so it's saying country code I will say India state province I will say Gujarat I will say Gujarat here again organization name I will say or maybe uh, I will say then we have organizational unit name let's say IT common name so so here uh, you need to mention the domain so for example you have an xyz.com then it should be mentioned here that is xyz.com right so here I am going to uh, use an IP address instead of domain right so it's this one Oops. just a sec maybe I will copy it from here so yeah enter email address uh, I'll see here it should be your uh, domain email address right so I'll say admin at the right the updates.com and our uh, key and the certificate has been generated successfully in the uh, specified path in the respective path right now what we need to do is we need to uh, go ahead in the nginx directory and edit the configuration file right so we'll go to etc nginx mm, sites enabled right and here i'm going to edit this flask app file right so it's a sudo well flask app right so here I am listening on the or the Nginx server is listening on the port 80 right so we need to mention 443 here listen on 443 with SSL right and then we need to turn on the SSL that is SSL on maybe it's not turn on but it's certainly a parameter that we need to specify here right mm -hmm. and then we have we need to provide the uh, certificate path that is certificate and the key right so ssl underscore certificate and port slash etc slash ssl slash certs slash nginx hyphen self hyphen sign dot crt right and same goes for ssl certificate key that is ssl underscore certificate underscore key and let me copy and uh, paste the above path and it's dot key right and we are all done we will save this file we are going to restart nginx so do service nginx restart oops there is an error let's go ahead and check so listen 443 ssl ssl on seems all good to me but now uh, sorry here we have an error in path so key ideally uh, resides in the private directory uh -oh. so maybe something is wrong here 
so let me check this command oh yes we have a private so here we need to edit this path so it's ssl port slash private and it's not in search basically my mistake sorry so let's restart it and yes we are good to go so i'll say sudo service last step restart and so i have uh, created a service for uh, running unicorn right so you can refer the previous tutorials to to see how it has been done right so i think now uh, we will be able to load this on https so let's say https and run this it says is your connection is not private so basically uh, it gives this warning uh, when we have self signed certificate right which is not issued by the uh, trusted uh, certificate authority right and as you, as you can see uh, now we are running this application on https right so uh, this is this was the very basic configuration but uh, there is lot more to configure right so so yeah uh, so guys uh, that's all i i wanted to uh, cover in this tutorial so it's it's a, it's kind of the basic tutorial uh, on how to uh, deploy blast application on an https protocol using https protocol on port 443 right so wrapping up here and if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or any service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time thanks for watching